During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk a little about how are farmers reducing erosion. This is a great topic because Brian and I are the fourth generation of our family farming the same ground. And you think about how valuable soil is to farmers. Well, we're four generations down the chain here and we're still farming that same dirt. So we want to hold the soil in place as much as we can as farmers. But how are we doing that? First thing is reducing tillage. If you look at let's say 40, 50 years ago, back when our grandpa and that generation was farming the ground, they had to do full-scale tillage for a couple of reasons. Number one, they didn't have the great pesticides that we do today. Things to control the weeds, the insects, the diseases, so they counted on tillage to do a lot of that for them. The other big thing is they just didn't have equipment that could plant very well into lots of residue. So today we go out and plant in our fields, in some cases no-till, might be strip-till or minimum till, something like that, but there is a lot of residue left out there and we're able to plant through that and still get good seed to soil contact by placing the seed properly in the ground. There just flat out was not the equipment to do that 40, 50 years ago. Well, there sure wasn't, and there wasn't the nice equipment for improving drainage in fields either back then. Now, I'm not talking about surface ditching, I'm talking about subsurface drainage tile. Farmers being able to put that tile in and narrow up those spacings was really important because there was tile in the ground a hundred years ago on our farm. It just wasn't, there wasn't very much of it. It was so well, it's, hard because they had to hand dig it in. I, I think it's easy to understand why reducing tillage saves you from having soil erosion because there's all this residue that holds that soil in place. But how does tile reduce erosion? Well, here's how. When you have tile, all it's doing is lowering the water table. Now, when rain lands, it can soak into the ground instead of needing to run off when the water table is too high. So typically what we're finding is 40 to 60% erosion reduction in tiled areas as opposed to untiled areas. That's huge. And when it comes to drainage, you think about how things were done in the past before we were able to get enough tile in the ground to make a big difference. Well, it was oftentimes a lot of surface ditching, and then if you had some slope to it, if you could get a grass waterway through those ditches, now you would hold soil in place instead of having a big gully washer every time there was a three or four inch rain. We have somewhat hilly ground on our farm, so in some cases we are farming on the contour, which means we're farming around the hills. We also have terraces in some fields, so basically a terrace is a raised area where basically water can run down just to that point and it can't run any further because it basically hits a little dam that's out in the field. The other thing that's been done over the years and it's becoming more popular again is cover crops. I know on our own farm last fall we put some cover crop on after we had harvested silage to protect the soil. We got great growth of that cover crop out there, didn't have any washing whatsoever. So what we're finding around the United States is farmers have dramatically reduced soil erosion in the last 20 years. It's very exciting. What's happening now is we're building soil and that's a good thing if we want to raise more crop. If we want to raise more crop, we also have to have great weed control, including stopping our Weed of the Week. We'll tell you what will control this tough weed later in the show.